Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of downloading and installing Microsoft Office 2013 Pro Plus. Now the reason that this is a cool product other than a really cool name is that it's a free product that you can download and install. It's fully featured, the kind of thing that you would typically pay a lot of good money for. Uh, now this isn't a free office solution for everybody, however, if your school has set you up with this, and there are 35,000 educational institutions around the country that are set up with it, uh, then this will provide you with a copy of Office that you can use. And so, finding the download is the challenging part, and that's really what I hope that you uh, get out of this video. So I'm going to start off just, I'm using Google Chrome, I'm starting off from scratch. now. This entire process starts by signing into your Office 365 account. So I'm just going to do this, Office 365. You probably have some other kind of sign in for your Office 365 account. I'm just literally starting from scratch. And so I'm just going to go with this first link here, sign into Office 365. And so at this point, I'm going to sign in with some ID that my school gave me. And so mine is something like this. I don't use this this much. Come on, be correct. Can that sort out? Okay, see, I told you I don't, I don't do this very often. So I'm just signing into my Office 365 account. You'll notice that I kind of got redirected here, and so I am at COCC, so here I am. For some reason, I have to log in twice. Now, you probably don't have to uh, log in twice. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. And so now I am greeted by my Office 365 account, right? So if you are a student, this is probably how you check your email, right? This is Outlook. This is the web-based version of Outlook. And it's very counterintuitive that this is where you would start with your download, right? I'm two minutes into the video and you're like, why are you checking your email? Well, because I'm about to download Office. So who would think it comes from here, but it does. Over in the upper right-hand corner, you've got this little gear thing. I don't know what it is, but it is settings. And so this doesn't seem like the place you'd go, but you're going to head down to Office 365 settings. And when you click on that, you're getting closer. I'm going to click on software. Right, and then you can see we're getting closer, right? Install the latest version of Office. So I am going to click on Install right here, and we can also see that I'm going to be getting the full version of Office. Like Word and Excel are the most common applications, of course, PowerPoint, but we're getting the entire Office suite. And we click on Install. And I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, that seemed like, I think that's done. So now I've got to figure out where did this thing go. So it probably went to my downloads folder. I'm going to do this old deal and click open, and it's going to open, just open up the file because it's an installer. And I'm running it, and it's a relatively quick installation. From this point, it's just installing software. And so if you're comfortable installing software, you can really just stop watching the video now. Essentially, there's going to be some nexts and some OKs. Uh, it's a pretty quick process. I did it the other day, but the challenging part was finding it. So remember, it was under the gear, it was under options, and then software. Now, you wouldn't think that this is the set of steps that you need to follow to install software, but you do. And so at this point, I'm just going to go, I'm going to click Next. Welcome to your modern office. And it's I don't really want to your... watch this video, so I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to click Next. I told you, a bunch of Nexts, right? And so here's some customization options. Next. No thanks, right? I don't really want a tour. Maybe you do. And we're almost done with the installation. So installing a piece of software is not difficult, particularly. You may run into some issues, and I haven't ever run into issues. Um, there, of course, there's going to be some system requirements because this is a physical piece of software. I've heard that if you have a trial version of Office installed, I've heard it's a good idea to uninstall that first. And so you can see this installation is just happening, and I'm really not providing any insight at this point. The only requirement of this software, because nothing is entirely free, is that I need to sign into my Office 365 account 
at least once a month. I guess if you ever go a month without signing into your Office 365 account, then this piece of software will expire. So it's not going to last forever. And so do understand that it's a subscription model, which is a little bit different than traditional versions of Office. And you can see the process is just working its way along, and I'm just yapping away here. Essentially from here, I guess I'll just pause it and show you when I finish, but it's not going to be very interesting. All right, and so a couple minutes elapsed, and, and we're good to go. Uh, one thing's worth mentioning, possibly, is that the installation just kind of went along. And uh, last time I installed it as well, when it got to 90%, it just sat there for a couple minutes, and then it just jumped to 100%. So that doesn't seem like anything to be concerned about. But notice there was no, I didn't have to input like a license code or anything like that. I just downloaded the installer and ran it. The challenging part was navigating to the download in the first place. So just the idea of, remember that, this entire process starts by signing into my Office 365 account. So if you're a student, uh, this is likely how you check your web email in the first place, and it's just going to be a matter of heading over here to settings and, uh, and getting the download going. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that worked out, and if it did, you've now got a fully featured version of Office 2013 on your home computer. Thanks for watching.